I'm gonna have some coffee. What do you want, some uh, milk or uh, what, milk? Coffee's fine. <laughs> yeah, I drink it, I'm hip. I don't know, this is espresso, you know? It's like coffeezilla. I said I'm hip. Is it already Friday again? Oh, oh, hey, hey, it's, it's Friday. Which can only mean one thing, Fake Guru Friday. Okay, what are we talking about today? First of all, a little update on the main channel, okay, because some people are like, why oh, haven't you posted there in a little while? And the reason is because after the trending tab video, uh, I had a video in the works that had to get canceled because it just wasn't the right time for it. There were some sensitive documents involved and I just felt like it wasn't, I just canceled. I had to cancel. So the next video is coming out soon. It's gonna be out by the end of the month. So don't worry, coffee, this channel has not in any way taken away from Coffee Break. This is where I come when I'm just like, oh, I'm tired of the you know high production value, feeling like uh, an idea isn't good enough for Coffee Break. So this is really more like R&R &R for me and I hope you guys enjoy it too. I know you like this series. So without further ado, we're gonna get into Don LaPre, probably the guy, the best case study for why you should not drop ship. Don LaPre kind of found out about drop shipping before it was cool. He's the tiny classified ad guy. Have you seen this guy? The second way to make money that I stumbled onto was placing tiny classified ads in the newspaper. If you create and test one tiny classified ad in the newspaper that makes just 30 to $40 profit in a week, it could make you a fortune because the secret is learning how to take that one tiny classified ad that just made 30 to $40 profit in a week and to realize that you could now take that same exact ad and place it in up to 3,000 other newspapers around the country. That's what I did. I found tiny classified ads. Okay, enough. Tiny classified ads. You guys get the point. Uh, Don LaPre was a pitch man from, I think, I'm pretty sure it was the 90s, and he, his big thing was the tiny classified ads. Tiny classified ads. Uh, which he repeats about 10,000 times in this video. But what was the tiny classified ad idea? Well, basically, um, you could advertise in newspapers. That was like the, one of the big ways you advertised back then. And Don LaPre said, well, look, you can create an ad that like, basically sell some info product or some kind of product that maybe you don't even own and then you get an order form from all the people who write in or call in and then you go out and you sell it for more than it's worth and then you purchase it from those people and you're sort of the middleman you've like fulfill the request now does that sound like anything that is pitched today as a fake guru idea? If you give me 45 seconds, I'm gonna show you how my buddy Justin generates nearly $500,000 per month selling weird stuff like cat socks, fishing t-shirts, and of course, the legendary wolf mug of truth and justice. And it's actually quite simple. All he does is create e-commerce drop shipping stores and then target people on tiny classified ads and then sells them things they're interested in. I was able to go from zero to $1.5 million drop shipping on Shopify within 12 months. But for you to understand my story, we need to transport our way to the Shopify back office, which we can do right here. Beep. So what we're looking at is the one tiny classified ad that just made 30 to $40 profit in a week and to realize that you Don LaPre is the father of online drop shipping apparently. Uh, so what's, what's fascinating to me about this is that uh, Don LaPre was literally charged with 41 counts of conspiracy, mail fraud, wire fraud, promotional money laundering, transactional money, money laundering, uh, criminal forfeiture. I mean, he, he was got, he was busted for, for ripping off customers. And ultimately we, we found out that the people who were responding to his cl tiny classified ads weren't actually making all that much money. Shocker. Now I want to say this right up front. Okay. I'm not against dropshipping per se, which is just the concept that you take some niche product from a wholesaler, you go and advertise it, you find a customer and then you connect these two and then the wholesaler sends it to the customer, the customer pays you, and then you basically take the, you take the profits. Okay, so that's, that's basically how drop shipping works in a nutshell. I'm not against it in principle, in principle it can make some money. The problem is, is people like Don LaPre, who's running his classified ad scam, uh, people, people like, like uh, 
Mike Vestal running courses, people like Alex Becker running courses. The problem is they make it sound so easy. They make it sound like you're only, you're only a click away from making millions on Shopify. And there have been a ton of reports of people faking their Shopify account stores, all this kind of stuff. And why would someone do that? Well, because if you can make it seem like it's really easy to make money on Shopify, people see you as a guru, then they go to you and they pay for your, you know, $500, $1,000, $10,000 course. So, so again, I'm not against drop shipping per se. I think it's a really hard business. I think there are a lot easier businesses. I think it's really saturated right now. I think the idea of niche products being so findable is ridiculous. Um, but is it technically a way to make money? Yeah, I've known people who've made a small amount of money. You're not gonna become rich on it in all likelihood. But, you know, I just, I had to say, I don't think drop shipping is a scam. But I do find it funny that Donald Bray was, he founded drop shipping. Uh, all your fake gurus, they really are like, owe their livelihood to all Don. And you know what? There's something about Don that I sort of, <laughs> I sort of like, you know, like there's something kind of likable about him. Uh, I, I don't know what it, maybe it's the fact that he's standing, he doesn't have the stupid, you know, uh, Tesla Ferrari behind him. He's, you know, he's sitting next to a beach. I can kind of, I kind of like that. Although the beach is roaring during this thing. I don't know if you guys noticed that. Listen to this. But ads that made 30 to $40 profit in a week. You can barely hear him over the sound of the ocean. But I don't know, I, I don't, maybe it's just nostalgia. He's kind of lovable. Um, but really, but really, he's the founder. Look, you want to, all your guys, all your fake gurus think they're great. This guy did it all. And then eventually, of course, he died right before going to prison. But that's another story for another day. Now, the last thing I want to talk about with Don LePray, besides him being your favorite guru's basically forefather, uh, I want to talk about the greatest vitamin in the world. All right, so the greatest vitamin in the world is the thing that Don Don uh, spun off into after his his tiny classified ads wasn't working all that well. He tried a few other things too, uh, but the greatest vitamin in the world is a just some ripoff formula. The FDA later said it didn't do anything. Don Prey said it cured. <laughs> of course he did. He said it cured diabetes cancer, arthritis, you, you have a problem, the greatest vitamin in the world, it cures it. Do you have generalized anxiety? You know, um, but the real genius behind the greatest vitamin in the world was his selling system, which, oh, I can't believe people fell for this. Okay, check this out. Get 20 new people to agree to try these vitamins and I get paid a thousand dollars? Yes, and the best part is you don't have to do any selling. You just send people to your website and the website educates the people. It takes the order and it does everything for you. Okay, does this remind you of anything else? You know, everybody says how much money they're making, blah, 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 $6,000. Uh, essentially, it's a pyramid scheme. You get people to, you know, try the product underneath you. It's like an MLM. You get people to try products underneath you. And if you get people to try 20 products, you'd get paid a thousand dollars and you could have, you're an independent advertiser and then you get your independent advertiser underneath you who's also selling and you make money on what they do. Uh, but what what was unique about Don LePray's approach is Don didn't graduate high school. Now, what does that mean? Well, it means he's not too good at math. So he said that you could, you'd get a thousand dollars if you sold 20 products, 20, got 20 people to try one product, okay? Well, how much does a product cost? Well, a product retail, a greatest vitamin in the world retailed for $45. So if you get 20 people, Don LePray brings in $900. This is before he pays for the bottle, before he pays for anything else, and then he's supposed to give you $1,000. This is totally unrelated to all the bonuses and stuff he included. He put out all the stuff. He said, you're getting $1,000. You're getting, no, you're getting $1,000. And meanwhile, he's only making $900 when you're supposed to be getting $1,000. So what ends up happening? Well, Mr. Can't Do Math uh, ends up getting busted on this. And this is this was actually the big thing he got busted on. The tiny classified ads he got in trouble for, but he wasn't uh, ever like completely thrown into prison for. The greatest vitamin in the world is what he really got destroyed on. And uh, yeah, because you can't not pay people. And he wasn't paying people because you can't pay $1,000 when you make $900. So that is the story of Don LePre, but what can we learn from him? Well, we can learn a few things. Number one, your dropshipping gurus, they ain't original. You're not even original for being scammed by it. People have been being scammed by, you know, looks easy, dropshipping scams, pay for my info product for years. So that's number one. Number two, we also know the life cycle of the guru. Starting, starting out, 
The guru makes wild claims. Don LaPrey said he was making $50,000 a week doing his tiny classified ads. He gets a little notoriety. His product starts taking off. He actually becomes wealthy because he sold so many of these bogus products. And then he's, that kind of peters out. Then he starts the greatest vitamin in the world. People start to know him as a scam and then, uh, and then you tip and you end up getting caught. So the reason that I talk about people like Don LaPrey and the reason that I talk about like the life cycle of fake gurus is that a lot of people see new fake gurus come on the scene and they're like, oh, well, I'm not seeing anything sketchy yet. So I should just believe this person. No. I'm Brock Johnson. I went from zero to six million dollars in my first six months selling on Amazon. And on August 1st, oh we have no, a one dollar course God. coming out. But this is not your usual no, one dollar course. Please, okay, so no, if you know no, and you've ever seen a mini no, course or something like that before. No. Are... If it looks like a Don LaPrey, if it talks like a Don LaPrey, if it walks like a Don LaPrey, it's probably a tiny classified ad.